Hello guys, welcome back to my channel where the makeup and sass keeps you coming back for more. It's Jilly here and um, you guys know we're starting out with a fresh face so that means today we're going to be doing a review video. I finally got my hands on some goodies from Rare Beauty. I also got a couple of new products from Charlotte Tilbury, although one of them did go kaput. I have a whole story about that so we're going to get into that. I've got all these goodies here from Rare Beauty. So if you guys want to stay tuned, see what happens with this review, wear test, all of that, then keep on watching. But before all of that happens, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, as well as follow me on both Instagram and Twitter. Both of those are underscore it's Jilly. Now let's jump into today's review. So unless you've been living under a rock, then you know that Selena Gomez came out with her own makeup beauty brand, however you want to call it. It's called Rare Beauty. And I'm just going to read you guys what they're saying about the brand. So on Sephora.com it says, this brand is created by Selena Gomez. Rare Beauty is challenging unrealistic standards of perfection in Selena's own words. It's not about being someone else, but being who you are. This is makeup made to feel good in without hiding what makes you unique, airy, breathable. Our skin loving formulas go on easy for adjustable coverage and a fresh finish that always looks like you. So um, there you have it. That's kind of what we're starting out with. Um, just so you guys know, I will have um, timestamps within this video so you know like where we're going. So we're just gonna do a good little intro. I feel like I don't normally tell you guys enough about these products, so I'm trying to like be better today. Um, so the first thing that I got is I did get the foundation and I got mine in the shade 480W. I'm really hoping that this is a match. Um, just so you're aware, the foundation does retail for $29 and you're getting the standard one fluid ounce. I actually think that that's a pretty good price for a foundation. Um, typically foundations at Sephora to me range 35 and above so for this one to be 29 that's really good you can tell she's trying to appeal to a broader audience um, to say the least so I'm just gonna pop this out and that's what this one is looking like I hope this is a match I did have to try to see what other people's matches were to see if I could match myself I did purchase these online um, the next thing that I have here is the positive light liquid luminizer hmm okay so i think this is the highlighter and this one retails for 22 dollars and i got the shade captivate i hope yeah i think that's the shade the shade's name is captivate i think this one's supposed to be like a cute rose goldy color i don't really do liquid highlighters but i thought this one would be fun love the shade it kind of matches my shirt <laughs> so love that Okay, so the next product that I got is the Liquid Touch Concealer, a brightening concealer. I got this one in the shade 450N. Um, the concealer retails for $19. Again, these are very, very good prices. Um, I mean, $22 might be a bitch much for a concealer, but I definitely paid. I mean, I bought the Pat McGrath one, so I won't really complain about prices. This is at Sephora. Sorry, just trying to get these things open. Jeez Louise. Okay, that's not opening. All right, and this is what they look like. I do really like this little top situation that is happening with these bottles. I think that that is super, super fun. And I heard that she created them this way for people who have um, like arthritis like she does and struggle to open um, bottles up and whatnot. The next item I got is the Always an Optimist Illuminating Primer. I am really scared about this product because it says illuminating and your girl does not illuminate. Um, I will tell you that I bought these online so I was able to get the sample size of the primer instead of the full size. So my primer cost $14 and the one that the full size cost $26. In case you were wondering, this is what it looks like. It's really cute. Um, this is a some kind of plastic bottle whereas I think the other ones were 
like a plastic glass looking kind of equipment. Um, two more items here that I got from her collection. I did get one of her lipsticks and this is supposed to be uh, Selena's favorite color. So I got this one in the shade Inspire and it's this gorgeous red. I'm actually not sure if this is going to clash with this, but we're just going to go with it. And the last item that I got from this collection is the foundation brush, which retails for $28. It's called the Liquid Touch Brush. I like how they have it in like French and English and like I, I can read French and whatnot. So I'm like always ready to read the French and then I'm like, wait, wrong, wrong place. Um, okay, this is what the brush is looking like. Ooh, packaging was pretty easy. I do kind of like the way the brush looks. It's angled, it's nice and fluffy. I'm excited to see what this does. Um, I only have a couple of other items I wanna show you guys that I'm gonna be using in this video that are brand new. I did get this Charlotte Tilbury Air Bronzer. Look at how big this thing is. I saw it in stores and I was like, wow, I've gotta have this. I got it in the shade Four Deep. Um, it's massive and I really hope it shows up on me in the store it did so hopefully it stays true look at this this is gorgeous <sighs> come on I'm so excited to use this I feel like the camera's not doing this color justice but it is actually a pretty deep shade um could it be deeper for other people duh but this is what we have the last product I got is the new setting spray however my package from Sephora ended up staying outside for a couple of days because it was shipped to the wrong address. So my like setting spray is basically half gone. Alrighty, so I did go ahead and zoom you guys in a little bit just so you guys could see my face up a little closer. Oh my gosh, I'm literally, I have so many like spots on my nose, but it's fine. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and get started. I do plan on wearing this foundation today for maybe about five-ish hours because I do have to go to work and I don't want to have to worry about doing this afterwards. So I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts of the day right before I go to work. Um, it is currently 12.46 p.m. So we're just going to go ahead, get this on so we can get a good amount of hours in so you guys can see how it lasts on my oily skin. Um, going in with this uh, primer first. We're gonna, you know, get a pump or so. Think that's enough. Oh, didn't mean to flick you guys off. Might have put on too much, honestly. It says illuminating, I'm so scared. All right, I might have put a little bit too much on, but overall, this definitely feels very nice. Like, I kind of feel a little bit hydrated when I put this on. Um, so, and I do feel a little dewy, like, you know, just a little bit, not a lot. So we'll have to see if um, this makes me oily or anything. All right, so they said that this is a silicone-free, water-based gel primer that cools upon contact while it smooths, hydrates, and illuminates. Um, it's a weightless formula infused with ultra-fine pearls for instant radiance um, with a botanical blend of lotus, gardenia, white water lily, to help soothe and calm stressed out skin. Um, my skin is stressed out, so I definitely needed that. All right, so we're gonna move into the foundation, and as I said, I did get it in the shade 480W. Um, this does, this foundation range has 48 shades, I believe, and they're saying that this is a convenient doe foot applicator. In this foundation, delivers pure pigments packed with a serum-like base making it easy to blend and build coverage while evening out skin tone and hiding the look of pores. No clogging or caking, um, and it says for dry skin, it's recommended to moisturize, then follow with the primer. Oh, so maybe the primer is okay for people with oily skin. So we're just gonna go ahead and open this. I'm gonna give it a swatch, see if it actually matches me. I do like how big this doe foot applicator is. It's huge. Um, I'm just gonna do half of my face so you guys can see the difference between like my skin and the foundation. Going in with this brush here. So this is what like my face with the foundation is looking like and this is what it looks like without. I 
do think this is like a decent match for me for a minute I was afraid it was a little like too red but I do think this one is a really good match according to the website um, this particular shade that I chose um, I just want to tell you guys what they said so they said that this one is a meaty is a deep with warm neutral tones so um I like that I think that this is a pretty good shade although Sephora was telling me that my actual shade was like 440 I think 440 would have been too a little too light um but this is good you can still see some scarring and like discoloration that I have but I guess that's the point of this foundation is to just like kind of be your skin but better so far feels very very nice on the skin I'm just gonna go ahead with um one more doe foot on the other side and then I'm gonna put a little bit on the other side to cover up some of these spots that I have that are pretty bad Okay, so I think our skin is looking actually really really decent guys um I really like the way that everything is currently looking um this is great like it really d is like your skin um but better this is great so we're gonna go ahead and jump into the uh concealer and I got the shade 450N um let's see the concealer is probably just about the same thing as well with the whole um, lightweight but let's just see if they say any claims or anything on their website um, it says that it instantly hides blemishes dark circles and redness with a buildable coverage and skin like finish that won't cake or settle into the fine lines so let's see that's a lot of claims miss Gomez again same doe foot applicator I still love this little gadget here to hold it with Okay, I accidentally got a lot on that one. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and start blending. Um, our good friend Miss Serena, uh, Miss Selena, why do I keep calling her Serena? Selena did not come out with a powder, so once I finish blending this out, I am going to set this with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I do think I picked a, a decent shade when it comes to the concealer, so I'm happy. I actually have the hardest time picking a shade for the concealer because I just couldn't figure out how bright I wanted it to be, but I kind of like this. This is like really subtle, but it's still like brightening and lifting, so I like this a lot. Yeah, and that really just did a good job of hiding this like dark spot that I have here um, that the foundation really wasn't getting before. so this is what the concealer is currently looking like it looks very good um I don't really have any issues with fine lines or anything yet but I don't typically have fine line issues with concealers so I don't know I am gonna go in and put in a little bit more because this is I don't know a little too natural for me um I did just realize that the doe foot on the concealer oh I'm so upset you guys can't like see this well but it's like angled to like actually fit perfectly in the little crevice of your eye that's cute you can tell they actually put some thought into like the packaging and all of that so I appreciate a little bit of effort you know okay guys so I just went ahead and put on a little bit of mascara whatever um, we're gonna keep it moving we just got a couple more products to use before we wrap it all up um, if this video ends up being long I really do apologize but as I already said timestamps will be listed down below um, Everything will be listed down below, honestly, if you are actually interested in the details included in this video. I'm going to go in with this bronzer here with a nice angled brush. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Look at, guys. Wow. I am obsessed. This looks so freaking gorgeous. Oh my gosh. 
I might have gone a little heavy, but that's kind of because I love bronzer at the moment. Wow, talk about snatched. Like, can you guys see how good my face looks right now with this bronzer? Okay, okay, Charlotte Tilbury, you're not playing. This is it right here. Um, okay, so we do have a couple more Selena products to play with. So I don't typically use liquid highlighters and God, am I afraid to use this and like mess up my face. So we're gonna go ahead, wipe off as much as we can from that and do one, two, three. See, I just don't wanna like overdo it. better blend it out with like my finger or it might just dry down too fast I don't know I don't really see it um let's put on a little more maybe oh let's maybe use our beauty blender so I'll put on more see what happens okay that's a little better that's really pretty actually guys um this is a really pretty shade and i think it's a really different one i don't really have a highlighter that is this shade and i would be very interested to see this like on the lids of the eyes so definitely it goes on better with a beauty blender or something i think this is super gorgeous wow um that's a super pretty shade let's see if we can get the inner corners kind of like subtle but there um wow I kind of really like this I was not expecting to extremely like this liquid highlighter but I love it um we're gonna go ahead and quickly set <gasps> okay well I know where all the product was it was inside the lid oh my gosh <sighs> what oh this came undone okay well that's upsetting Sorry guys, I just need to like get this water off of all my crap that was sitting here. Okay, sorry guys. Um, so like I said, this whole thing just basically leaked because it came undone in the packaging. So we're just going to go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of a spritz with whatever's left in here. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray Party All Night, Stay All Day. Um, I did get the little mini version because you guys I'm telling you that's my secret if something doesn't have a mini version to be honest I really don't want it because I need to test it out. What if I don't like it? Anywho, let's put the final touch on today's look I'll go about my day and then I'll come back later To give you the tea. This is that lipstick that apparently Selena Gomez was wearing in all of the pictures. So let's see Oh wow, that is I wonder what kind of lipstick this is supposed to be. This is extremely bright for me. Um, it says it's supposed to be a matte lipstick. So what I'm going to do is I actually saw Alyssa Ashley do this. I'm going to put a little bit of the Fenty Clear Gloss Bomb on top of this because this is potent. Like this is really bright. Like I don't usually ever wear red like this. Just so that it's more of like a... A little bit of a pop of red like red but your lips but better whatever type of situation okay so this is what our face is currently looking like guys you know I'm gonna go about my day as I said about four or five hours from now I'm gonna come back give you guys my full thoughts and opinions on this foundation here and whether or not it is worth your hard-earned coin um so stay tuned i'll be back obviously for you guys in a couple of seconds and we'll wrap this video up all righty guys so i have been wearing this foundation for about five hours now it's like about 5 30 ish um so i just want to come on and give you guys my final thoughts and opinions let you guys see what my face is currently looking like 
with the Rare Beauty Foundation by Selena Gomez. So let's just go through all the products that I talked about. Um, first and foremost, I'm just going to tell you guys, I love the bronzer by Charlotte Tilbury. I thought it was great. Um, definitely a must have if you are interested in this. Definitely go ahead and grab that. I think it's really cute as well as the setting spray. If you are interested in it, you should do it. I feel like there's something about this setting spray that I really like. I mean, it's sometimes it's hard to figure out what about a setting spray you like, but I just like that it didn't really leave any like dots on my face or it didn't mess up my base. Um, and it's just kind of held it into place and you know, not, not much is moving on my face. So I like this a lot. I will definitely be buying the full size version at some point. Love this. Um, next is the foundation brush. Definitely actually think this was a good foundation brush. I love the angle of it and how it just kind of like sits into your face. It blended out the foundation really, really well. So, um, again, if this is one that you were interested in, you should get, but if you don't want it, you definitely don't need to get it. Like it's not a necessity per se. Um, moving on to the primer. I actually don't know how I feel about the primer only because I feel like my face is like a little dewy around the nose and whatnot. I know it's been about five hours, so this is typically the part where I do get dewy. Um, but I don't know if I should blame it on the, on the foundation or the primer. Um, I'm leaning towards the primer only because it was like an illuminizing primer. Um, so definitely I feel like I would wear this in the winter because it's a little drier. So that's why I won't be too upset about it and I will like just keep the primer. Um, another thing was the concealer. I actually really like this concealer. I don't have any creasing under my eyes whatsoever. I think this was a fabulous concealer. I think I picked the perfect shade and like, I don't know, I just don't have anything bad to say about it. That's really funny to me. Um, this lipstick is the only one I kind of had an issue with because I felt like it didn't go on as opaque as I thought it was going to. But then I ended up liking having this little like, you know, red tint on my lips that I put a little bit of gloss on. And now that I know how it behaves, I could just like see myself like really dabbing a little bit on my lip just for a little bit of color and not necessarily for coverage, if that makes sense. So that's the deal with this lipstick. Um, this luminizer. Okay. I'm like, kind of really obsessed with this shade. Like, do you see my cheek bone? This was great. I think we had a little bit of a rough start, but ultimately I think this might've been my favorite product from the whole collection that I got. Cause I know I didn't get every product. Um, just because I thought it was a very, very different shade and I really liked how it ended up working out and how it just gives me that really nice subtle glow without being overwhelming. Definitely gonna be wearing this a lot more. Like I loved this product. So the final product that we're here, I feel like to talk about is gonna be the foundation. Um, number one, I think that I did a really good job matching myself with this foundation. If you forgot, I did get the shade. 480W. Um, this was really, really pretty. I think that it really went on the face very, very well. Um, you guys can see what my face currently looks like. So just a little bit of dewiness on the nose, not major. I'm not going to complain about my oiliness at the moment. I actually think that sometimes people look for, um, lighter foundations in the summer, but I actually look for lighter foundations in the winter, um, especially whenever I live in winter places like I do right now, because I find that heavier foundations really get cakey and dry on your face. And because I have oily skin, I need that kind of coverage in the summer and not necessarily in the winter. So, um, Ultimately, I would recommend this foundation, like thumbs up. I think that it's a great price. I love the packaging. I love this like ball design thing. I don't know, I'm obsessed with this ball. I just think it's super fun. It's a doe foot applicator. This may not be the most like sanitary product if you're using it on other people. So that's a thing. But if you're just using it on yourself, I think it's perfectly fine. If you don't want to put the doe foot applicator on your face, I guess you could I don't know, wipe it off on like put it on something else and then put it on your face. It's all up to you. But overall, I actually think that this foundation was really, really great. And I would definitely recommend if you are more on the 
um, dry skin, normal, and even oily skin. I think if you wear a different primer other than the one she sells, it might work out better. So stay tuned in the comments below. I'll let you guys know what I think about this, wearing it with like either my Fenty Matte Primer or my Milk Hydro Grip, because right now those are my two favorites. I'll let you know how um, that works out. So that's kind of it for this video for this wear test. I really hope you guys thought that, you know, this video was helpful in helping you decide whether or not you should get these products. I think that this was a really cute brand that came out. A lot of times we're very like skeptical about celebrity makeup brands, but I actually think that Selena put a lot of thought and effort into these products. And I think that she's, um, you know, really trying to like sell her products to a younger demographic. And she's trying to promote being like, body positive skin positive so I I'm here for it I feel it if you're a full coverage girl this may not be for you but if you're just kind of looking for something that's cute easy and for everyday wear on the go I would definitely recommend you check out some of the products in her line even if you don't get them all I mean I didn't get them all I only got the things that I was interested in um, I recommend that you you know give it a try or two and if you don't like it return it so yeah that's all for today's video um before we end please don't forget to subscribe as always click that button down below as well as follow me on both instagram and twitter both of those are underscore it's jilly and i'll see you guys next time thank you so much for watching